Hello everyone. In this session, we'll see the general concepts of inborn errors of metabolism. So, how we can detect inborn error of metabolism? So, how we can diagnose and also the screening method in the prenatal and newborn. Okay. Before that, genetic disorders fall into three categories. The first one is chromosomal. For example, Down syndrome, Klinefelter syndrome. The second one is monogenic. A single gene may be defective. Any mutation. Your IEM, that is inborn error of metabolism, fall into this category. The last one is complex. Here, this one is complex means it is multifactorial. It contains a genetic involvement. Otherwise, any other factors. Okay, so it is multifactorial. Complex means. So now we'll concentrate on the inborn errors of metabolism. It is there are wide spread of genetic disorders, various genetic disorders. So to make it easy, they've created a database. Online Mendelian inheritance in man. Okay, so when you give the clinical features, otherwise the genetic locus, chromosomal locus, it can pinpoint a genetic disorders. So it is easy to use the search engine uh, to find our inborn error of metabolism. Okay, so online Mendelian inheritance in man is a search engine for your IEM. It provides necessary information about the clinical features, genetic or chromosomal location, the phenotypes, everything you can search in this website. So, in this class, we'll see the inborn error of metabolism under this endings. How we can classify inborn errors of metabolism? the clinical presentation diagnosis and treatment so iem it is a group of metabolic disorders mainly caused by enzyme deficiency you know there are various metabolism taking place in our body every metabolism it may be a carbohydrate metabolism lipid otherwise a protein metabolism every metabolism requires enzyme so enzyme is a must thing in all metabolism if any defect in the enzyme any mutation of the gene producing that enzyme it leads to iem okay inborn errors of metabolism so it is purely an enzyme deficiency so this enzyme is required for either formation of proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, organic acids. It may be anything. Otherwise, catalyzing a biochemical reaction in our body. Okay. So, how will you classify this inborn errors of metabolism? First thing, based on macronutrients. The macronutrients are carbohydrates, lipids and proteins. So, any metabolism involving all these three. Okay. So, if it involves carbohydrate, so for example, glycogen storage disorders, fats, lipid storage disorders, protein, it may lead to any enzyme deficiency may lead to phenylketonuria, tyrosinemia. For example, phenylalanine hydroxylase deficiency leads to phenylketonuria. Okay, IEM based on cell organelles function in mitochondria, IEM may be a mitochondrial myopathy. Lysosome, it causes mucopolysaccharidosis. Peroxisome, it causes Zellweger syndrome. Okay. Based on the classification of others, others includes organic acids like your methylmalonic aciduria. Urea means it may be arginemia, citrullinemia. Okay. Okay.